afternoon uh, I'm a few minutes early uh, to my tutoring so I thought I'd make this video um, so tutoring is something I've been doing probably since uh, since maybe halfway through first year um, kind of just getting some experience under my belt before the big exams exams season uh, and before admissions uh, start in uh, September so I really enjoy gym tutoring I probably do about five hours a week I try and do it all on Sunday afternoon, just so it's not something I have to think about and schedule around all week long. Um, and, you know, being a student is expensive, uh, the interest rates on student loans are very high as well. So it's a really good way to kind of get some of your own money in, in, your, in your pocket, some extra spending money. Um, uh, it's something I thoroughly recommend to anyone. Uh, either If you can find your own students, uh, that's, that's probably better than an agency, that will take a lot of your money, but if you can't, I mean, uh, doing a buying agency, I guess it's probably easier. Um, if I could suggest a couple of tips for tutoring, I would say number one is um, try and stick to a schedule. So when I start tutoring, I can't be like, oh, well, I'm free at this time, this time, what time are you free? Didn't you know? It's not, it's not great for them. It's not great for you. It's best to kind of just stick to time. To say, for example, uh, Sundays two Sundays at two thirty. Does that work with you? Yep. Okay, that's going to be our time then. Um, obviously, I can adjust occasionally, but our, that's going to be our time. Sundays 3.30 to start work for you, that's going to be a time, and then kind of like that, that kind of system. And the second tip would be try and communicate any issues as far in advance as possible. Um, for example, obviously uh, people are going to want a lot of lessons near their exams, but that's going to be near your exams as well, so that's what you're going to, when you're going to be trying to tutor less. So it's important to explain that in advance, to say for example, I've got coursework on uh, this date, and I've got coursework on this date, and that means I'm not going to be able to do these lessons, and also I've got this two week exam period, which means I'm going to have to miss this lesson as well. And you know, obviously, they understand you're a student, um, and most uh, tutors will be completely fine with that. Um, don't let tutoring go on top of you. I'd also say um, if that's very easy for that to happen, especially in October through, uh, sorry, September uh, through to January, um, uh, when there's Oxbridge admissions exams, uh, entrance exams, and then Oxbridge interviews. Uh, so there's a lot of demand for tutoring, and people are willing to pay a fair amount of money. So it's very easy to be tempted into thinking oh, I'm just going to tutor loads and loads of hours and then you know your academics fall behind or you end up missing out on other experiences. So yeah, I think tutoring is a brilliant way to make some extra money and you know have have some sort of regular routine, some sort of experience interacting with people in the real world, all of that kind of thing. Um, and teaching can be quite rewarding, um, both financially and otherwise. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all I really have to say about tutoring.